I've said it so many times. How cool would it be being a Catholic kid from Chicago to take Loyola to the NCAA tournament? Custer stops, fires a 15-footer, bounces, and it goes! It went in! 3.6 seconds left. Here comes Loyola, a chance to win it. Towns into the front court. On the left wing, top to Ingram, three for the win. Go! It was surreal to have those shots go in. It was like, you know, you didn't think they could, but then when they went in, it was like, wow, you know, you expected it all along. It was, it was great. Many may not have expected it, but with its hard-to-believe run to the Final Four in the NCAA tournament, Loyola University of Chicago captured the country's attention. And as the now famous sister Jean puts it, international attention too. With buzzer beaters and upsets rocking the boat in college basketball, one man was at the helm of the Rambler's ship. Naperville native Porter Moser. I was born and raised here in Naperville. Uh, my family, my father, had always talked about giving back to the community and how much community and the Naperville community meant to him and also how much our Catholic faith meant to us. Um, he went to Saints Peter and Paul. All my siblings went to Saints Peter and Paul. And that is why Moser has returned to the gym he once called his home court, Saints Peter and Paul, a Catholic K-8 through school that collectively was watching on as Moser's Ramblers tore through the NCAA tournament. And when it was all over, the last of the confetti being swept off the Indianapolis hardwood, Meg Olson, the school's marketing officer, reached out and invited Moser back. He couldn't have been any kinder. As soon as I sent him an email, he came back with, I've been asked to be in a lot of places. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to do it, but I will get back to St. Peter and Paul because I really want to. And here we are two days before school's out, and he's here. Our first game as a basketball player, and I... You know, we're here at St. Peter and Paul, you know, growing up. And um, back then you thought this was like the United Center. And now, you're, now you look how big it is. You're like, man, is it doesn't seem as big as it was. The team that you want to play and beat right now is head coach. Michigan. Okay, I like that one. I like that one. Moser has now played and coached on a much grander stage. His team has filled professional stadiums and has been welcomed back to its campus on the breezy shores of Lake Michigan with adoring fans clamoring for a glimpse of gold and maroon. Moser's roots, however, belong on very different shores, those of the DuPage River. You see, his late father, Jim Moser, was the owner and CEO of Moser Lumber, which, with the aid of Jim's brother Harold, was a primary catalyst for the exponential growth of Naperville in the 1980s and 90s, as well as the creation of the Riverwalk. Porter's parents made him understand, as with his sister and two brothers, that they had to make it on their own. They weren't just going to be slid into the company to become the CEO someday. And Porter embraced that. There was a famous baseball manager once, Leo DeRocher. He managed the Dodgers and he managed the Cubs. And he was famous for a quote that said, nice guys finish last. Well, Porter Moser proves that that's not true. Frank Lawati was Porter's principal while he attended Saints Peter and Paul and still resides over the school. Lawati and Olsen, along with Moser's eighth grade basketball coach Dave Schmecht, became huge Rambler fans, hanging on every single play. We were like coaching right alongside with them for every ball game, and you know, we were agonizing with every shot made and every shot missed. My dad, my father-in-law went there, my sister's on staff there, she teaches, and one of my nieces just graduated. So watching Loyola and that Cinderella story couldn't have been much more exciting than I think it was. I really got into it on December 5th, again, as I said, and I texted Porter right away, and I told him, I said, I'm not only proud of what you're doing, but I'm proud of the way you're doing it. For Moser, the trip home is a nostalgic one. Naperville is, after all, home. Lawati and Schmecht, mentors. To see, uh, you know, Dave Schmecht and Frank Lawati, you know, two people that were my coach and my principal at the time, it was, uh, it was, it was really great to see them. They came back and uh, brought back a lot of memories walking around this campus. As for the message to his kids in attendance for his return to Saints Peter and Paul. How you think is how you feel. Repeat. How you think is how you feel. these kids to be thinking positive thoughts. We talked about put-ups today. You know, I'd say it, that's been a theme in my camp and today's society, we, it's kind of been a little thing at our camp, Porter's put-ups, in terms of just picking people up instead of putting people down. And that becomes your culture. And that's what the message I hope uh, that, I, that I gave these young people. Loyola's slogan is created by culture, seemingly coined by Porter Moser's team, which is interesting because in a lot of ways, Naperville's culture was created by the family of the man they now call coach. Reporting for NCTV 17, I'm Kevin Jackman.